Welcome to Ahemath Group. Today I'm going to show you how to find the standard deviation in the calculator TI-83 or TI-84. Let's do it. So let's say that you have a problem like this. Uh, my, my stats lab or whatever, all those online homework sometimes give you questions like this. So how do we solve this with the calculator? Well, let's do it. Hi guys, so now we have the calculator and we're going to go ahead and find the standard deviation, mean and everything you need. So click on stats and then click on edit and then click enter. Now I want you to go to L1 and L2. Now on L1 what I want you to do is to put all the lower intervals, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. And on L2 I want you to do the higher interval, 39, 49, 59, 69 and so on. Now on L3 what we're going to do is to find the midpoint between L1 and L2. So go all the way to the top and we're going to tell the calculator, hey, grab L1 plus L2 and divide it by 2 so I can have the midpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses, put uh, second L1 plus second L2, close your parentheses and then divide that by 2 and then click enter. Voila, I get the midpoint between 30 to 39. Now on L4, and we're almost done, we're going to go ahead and put the frequencies. See, 2, 2, 1, uh, 1, 18, 39, and 34. Awesome. Look at this. The most important lists here are going to be L3 and L4. So remember that. So click on stats, then click on calc. Okay, and then click on one variable stat, enter. Remember, the ones that we want is L3 and L4. So go ahead and do second L3, comma, second L4, and then just click enter. Beautiful. You get the mean, you get the sum of the x's, you get all the information you need. Standard deviation of the sample, a standard deviation of the population, how much is your n, your minimum, your maximum Q1, and everything. And that's it. That's how easy it is. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.